It is a real pleasure to welcome you to this uh, first uh, uh, Claren Cafe of uh, 2022. And I think that we've uh, chosen a very interesting topic uh, for today. Uh, I'm Francesca Frontini from the Clarin Eric uh, Board of Directors. And for those who are not familiar with uh, the concept of Clarin Cafes, they are uh, informal space of discussions uh, that uh, uh, are meant to, um, to bring about topics of common interest for the, the Clarin uh, Eric infrastructure and to uh, also discuss about recent developments. And uh, I think that. Uh, Today's cafe is reporting on quite a big development uh, in the Claren family from, from Germany. And uh, so we will hear about this uh, new text plus uh, uh, infra national infrastructure, which uh, among other things uh, will uh, uh, ensure the continuation of the important activities that uh, Claren has carried out over the years uh, within, uh, uh, within Claren. So uh, today's cafe is organized by uh, Erhard Hinrichs, uh, currently the uh, coordinator of Text Plus, uh, Thorsten Trippel, uh, and Andreas Witt. And uh, um, uh, the Claren hosts uh, will be myself, Francesca Prontini, and uh, uh, Francisca de Jong, who, who is, should also be uh, online right now. Uh, the technical support is provided uh, by uh, David Bourdon. Uh, we remind you that this uh, event is uh, recorded for dissemination purposes. So if you do not want to be recorded, uh, maybe you would like to, we would prefer to switch off your camera. In any case, you can ask uh, questions and make comments uh, uh, using the chat box. So this is uh, uh, today's uh, program. I will, we will give a very, very brief introduction and then hand over to Erin and colleagues uh, to hear more about uh, Text Plus and its various uh, aspects. There will be a short break uh, uh, for refilling your cups and then ample time for questions. And I'm sure that uh, we have many. So just um, a few introductory words about uh, Clarin Eric, since, that, since maybe some of you are not uh, as familiar uh, about uh, the uh, Eric side of things. Uh, um, so uh, CLARIN stands for Common Language Resources and Technology Infrastructure. Um, it has uh, the ERIC status, the European Research Infrastructure Consortium status since uh, 2012, and it's also recognized as a landmark infrastructure. It aims to provide easy and sustainable access for scholars in the humanities and social sciences and beyond to digital language data in written, spoken, multimodal modal form and advanced tools to discover, explore, explore, exploit, annotate, or combine them wherever they are located. When needed, this is also achieved through a single sign-on environment. It's also serving as an ecosystem for knowledge sharing and uh, training uh, an, as an aspect of our infrastructure, which is uh, becoming more and more important. It is in an, an integral part of the construction of, of the European Open Science Cloud, as you uh, can also see from this uh, link here. So, so today, Claren is a distributed infrastructure of over uh, 70 centers, and uh, you can see how many dots uh, are located in Germany. Uh, Germany is also one of the 22 full members of Claren Eric, and we also have uh, uh, three uh, observer countries. So as a distributed infrastructure, the important goal of the technical Clarin central technical infrastructure is to ensure that uh, uh, these, uh, uh, all these, this plethora of data and services can be accessed via uh, central access points. So um, while the, the many uh, Clarin data centers host, uh, provide a hosting environment, uh, a fair hosting environment for data and resources, their metadata is harvested centrally so that uh, uh, they can be searched for via the virtual language environment. And uh, they can also be processed and analyzed uh, by uh, tools that, and services that can be found in the language resources switchboard. Clarin acts also, as I said, as a knowledge infrastructure. Uh, first and foremost, uh, it, uh, this infrastructure, knowledge infrastructure builds on uh, a series of knowledge centers that offer uh, 
thematic specialized help desk services to researchers in our community. Then, as I said, there's a various uh, uh, initiatives uh, um, revolving around teaching and training with uh, the maintenance together with Daria Eric of the Digital Humanities Schools Registry, the initiative Teaching with Clarin, with sharing of Clarin training materials, video lectures. Then we also support uh, researchers by various uh, calls, open calls and funding opportunities, and uh, uh, we can provide also support for the, their projects. And if you want to know more about uh, Clarin and its various aspects, you can also uh, browse the volumes of the Tour de Clarin and uh, also more recently check out our impact stories to see how uh, Clarin helps researchers uh, in uh, their activities. So I'm now handing over to Francisca de Jong to say something about Clarin in Germany, uh, a long story. Yes, thank you, Francesca. Um... I must say um, uh, um, this long story about the relation between uh, Clarin Eric and, uh, and Clarin Germany um, is not a story that I witnessed uh, from the very beginning, uh, but it is indeed a long story. It started uh, with the involvement of uh, Germany in the preparatory stage, which, were, uh, which led to the establishment of uh, Clarin as an Eric um, in 2012. And uh, currently, there are many, many centers in Germany contributing to um, the service offer of, uh, of the Clarin infrastructure and the uh, knowledge infrastructure. And there, uh, there's a wide range of Clarin tools, part of the service offer that were, and, and other resources that were initiated um, by uh, uh, the, the Clarin, the German Clarin Consortium. I, I just mentioned you that least. And, and the switchboard. Um, so Clarin has always been supported strongly by uh, by Germany, and as the picture showed, uh, uh, the activities in the national consortia in general very important for the distributed research infrastructures um, in terms of volume and in terms of budget. These contributions are uh, are really uh, uh, invaluable and. Um, uh, the strongest pillar of, of any progress that you can indicate in an ERIC context. Uh, in the case of Germany, um, the, the leadership for the uh, national consortium has always been in the hands of uh, Eric Hinrich. Um, Clarin is now celebrating its 10th anniversary as an ERIC, and it nicely coincides with the moment that we uh, have to welcome uh, Erhard as, um, as the leader of, of Tax Plus. Um, but of course, we also have to farewell to say farewell to him in his role of um, an important person in the uh, National Coordinators Forum, which for which he was the first uh, chairperson. Um, so uh, uh, it's very interesting to uh, see the promise of Tax Plus coming while well, we know uh, the, the very important contribution and, and, and capacity to, to make things happen uh, in, in, in the last decade. Within, um, within uh, Claire and Eric, the role of uh, Erhard as national coordinator will be taken over by um, Andreas Witt. Um, but I think it's now time to hand over uh, to, um, to Erhard um for uh, the german coffees